This is how you can code an advanced clone message system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And on YouTube here, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a person personalized custom discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. So we can go ahead and start off by going over to moderation and we can go ahead and create clone.js and here we're going to do const and we can go ahead and get our context menu command builder. We can get our application command type and we can also get our permissions bit field and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. Next we can do const clone equals require and we can go ahead and get discord cloner now you can code this without a package but uh, this package is actually made by one of my moderators and coders on my discord server here and basically what they did was they created a package that has this code in it so we're going to be using the package for this video and also the other reason why i'm using the package is because uh, the next video on my channel will be a guide on how to make npm packages so this is kind of like a little preview because next I'll be showing you how to actually create your own packages. So next what we can go ahead and do is we can do module to exports and we can do equals and we can do data and we're gonna get our new context menu builder. And then we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be clone. We can go ahead and set a type and this is going to be our application command type and then we can do dot message because we're gonna go ahead and clone that message. Uh, and then we can go ahead and set DM permission. We're gonna go ahead and set that to false. We can add a comma, we're gonna do async executes. We can get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. In here we can do if no interaction dot member and we can do dot permissions dot has. We can go ahead and get our permissions bit field dot flags and then we can do dot manage messages. We can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can go ahead and say content and we can say you don't have perms to clone messages and we can go ahead and set informal to true so we can do comma informal and we can go ahead and set that to true then we can go ahead and defer reply so we can do await interaction dot defer reply and we can go ahead and set informal to true and then after doing that we can go ahead and say const message equals await interaction dot channel dot messages dot fetch and we can go ahead and get our interaction dot target id and then we can go ahead and do const channel equals interaction dot channel then we can go ahead and try and we can do await clone we can go ahead and get our message which is going to be message we can get our channel which is going to be our channel and we can do spoof and this is either going to be true or false so if you set this to false the bot is going to send the message so it's going to look like the bot just sent a message with that message content but if you set it to true it's going to look like the actual member sent the message so it's going to be like a webhook so i'm going to make it true because it's a little bit better when we do it like that uh, and then what we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and catch an error and we can go ahead and open this up and we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can go ahead and say content and we can go ahead and say there was an error while cloning your message and we can go ahead and do backslash take and we can open up our error just so that they can actually see that and i'm actually going to go ahead and bold the word error just so that it's a little bit more clear there um and then in here all we have to do is set from multi true so then down here we can do await interaction dot edit reply and we can go ahead and say content and we can go ahead and say successfully we can finish that bolding and then we can say cloned your message and then we can go ahead and set informal to true. So we can do informal to true. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make that edit reply instead of reply because we do have a defer, so we actually have to go ahead and edit that out. So with that, we're actually done. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and actually test this out. So what we can go ahead and do is we can start by just right clicking on that message and we can go ahead and click on apps and we can just go ahead and click on clone here. And as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and say successfully cloned your message and it's gonna go ahead and say member and member. So the exact same message I had right here, only it's gonna look like I sent it. So it's gonna have me as a webhook with my profile picture and username. So we can go ahead and try this again. This time we'll do it with a thread. So we can go ahead and clone that. And it's gonna go ahead and give me that message. So it's gonna say it created that thread, even though it can't actually say the system message. So it's gonna work for pretty much anything. Now, I'm not sure if it's gonna work for embeds, but we can go ahead and try it. And it actually did work. So I'm pretty surprised that that worked, but I guess you can clone embeds as well. And it included the emojis and the entire embed content. 
So we can try this one more time. We're gonna go ahead and try to clone this embed. It won't include the buttons, but it can include the actual embed, which is really cool. So that's how you can code an advanced clone message system for discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And also I will be releasing that NPM package guide video. So you can learn how to create an NPM package just like that clone one if you would like within the next few days. So if you don't want to miss that, go ahead and join the server as well to get notified when I release that. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.